This is Rod with Andy Shanty. We've had a lot of questions about our fifth gen forerunner with pulling our anti shanty trailers. So we figured we would just answer all those questions in a short video. Come along, let me tell you what we've done. This is a 2021 Toyota forerunner TRD off road premium. So when we started the forerunner build, the number one thing was how are we going to make it look? What stance do we want? And in doing that, we got a hold of some local professionals, Thunder Mountain off road. We asked them what's the best thing we can do to help a tow ride look good and still perform well on the highway because we've got to get to the adventures and then perform well off-road. So come on this way and I'll show you what we've done. This is a 295 70 17 tire. It's a BFG mud terrain. It's equivalent to like a 33 and a half and it's about 12 inches wide. We chose the bullhead black rhino rim. I think it looks good and it comes with a negative 12 offset. So it gives us a very strong stance, but it drives down the road really, really well. The suspension was a key part of our Forerunner build. We wanted it to drive nice, but we also wanted it to perform. I didn't want to put a big, big lift on it. We had a lot of great suggestions and help at the Overland shows, giving us some good feedback. But at the end of the day, we ended up going with a ready lift, two inch rear, three inch front, and we ended up going with the Bilstein 5100 shocks on it. Along with that, it was recommended to us that we put on a new upper trailing arm. That gives us as close to OEM specs. And I have to say, this drives better than it did when we picked it up brand new at the dealer. Along with the suspension lift, we decided that traditionally suspension lifts are soft. They're built for off-road. We knew we were going to be pulling a trailer behind this the whole time. So we went ahead and put in some Airite airbags inside the coils. It was a quick and easy install and doing that helped us level the trailer out. We run around 50 PSI when we're pulling an anti-shanty pro or the limited with it full of gear. We're talking three to four e-bikes, sleeping gear for four people, fully kitted out, ready to go out in the backcountry for three to four days. So we're probably pulling around, I'm guessing around 3,000 pounds with the limited completely loaded out with all of our stuff in it. It pulls remarkably well on-road and off-road. One cool thing on this 4Runner is we put the manual air chuck inside the gas tank. So it's pretty clean, pretty easy to use. Driving the 4Runner with 50 pounds of air in it without a trailer, it's a little more rough. One of the things that we've done too, that we keep on board inside of our 4Runners, we bought this little Makita personal air compressor. This works extremely well. It reaches inside fits inside here and you can preset your compressor for 50 pounds, 55 pounds. This has been a great asset to us. We use it, we take it to all the shows, it's always in the vehicle. We can air up, air down without any issues at all. So I'd recommend something like this if you aren't gonna put a compressor on, but if I was to do this again, I would definitely throw the compressor on here. Overall, the suspension on this 4Runner, nine out of 10, I would say, 10's gonna be perfect. I think this is close to being perfect. Is it better than stock? I say yes. It definitely rides so well. This is the vehicle of choice for me to drive on a daily. When we did the tires, the suspension, we had a few other things we wanted to put on it. We reached out to Weston and they are super winch. They do bumpers, they do rock slides, they do steps. They were phenomenal. They stepped up and helped us out. A big shout out to Weston and Super Winch. We chose these running boards. This isn't a crawler, so we don't need anything that's going to really support the weight of the vehicle, but we wanted something to make it easier to get in and out. And these protect the side from snow and grime. I've driven this all winter long. We've now got 10,000 miles on our 4Runner. Along with Weston's steps, we also got the bumper. 
there's a lot of manufacturers that make this bumper out there. This bumper is fantastic. It looks stock, it looks OEM, it fits the winch in there really nicely. We've got the SX 10,000K super winch and it is awesome. It looks good, it's clean, it's tucked inside there. I had that installed by Thunder Mountain as well when they did the suspension, I had them put that on. I'm totally happy with the way it looks and the way it works and performs. So some of you guys might ask, how do 33s work with a three inch lift with your turning radius? With a negative 12 offset, we did have some frame rub on the inside. It, we're going in reverse. We noticed that we were getting some rub. We took it back down to Thunder Mountain. They did a frame cut. They came in here, modified it, moved a relocation bracket, moved things around. It looks OEM. That was probably the one unexpected thing that we didn't realize we would need, but it was no big deal. It was a quick, easy, in and out, couple hour job. Moving forward from the vehicle, we've got a lot of lights up here. One thing I want to mention is the premium package in the TRD off-road comes with LED headlights and I'm flashed every time I drive this and before I put the airbags on it changed the pitch when I put a trailer on so it was even worse so definitely recommend putting airbags on if you're gonna tow if you're using an anti-shanty you're gonna tow but the headlights are fantastic. At Baja Designs, that's a product that we put on every anti-shanty we use. We love their product. So it's a natural thing for us to gravitate to them. We've got the Baja Design fog lights. It's an OEM spec, so it fits right inside the bezel. They plug in, the wire harness plugs right into your normal ones. So they act like they're just a factory OEM light. Super bright. We put amber in because we live in snow. We were out skiing. We're driving in the early mornings. And so we wanted those for that reason. We bought the same light put it up here, the squadron, and we put ditch lights on. I believe it's a Cali raised bracket. Along that line, we were looking for some lights on top. We found a local Utah company called C4, and they're the lights that we put across the top. Fantastic lights, super bright. We couldn't decide how many we wanted. They were super awesome to work with. We wired those in so they're on with our park lights. You can tell lighting is really important on this rig. So we wanted to make sure we have plenty of lights to catch up, check the deer out, make sure no animals are on the road when we're driving on the freeway. And also when you're off-roading, you can see everything. This bumper comes with a cutout to fit a 30 inch LED bar. And this is a Baja Design LED bar. We did a blackout package. So we changed out all the logos, all the labels, all the chrome. Up top, to put all the lights, we bought a front runner rack Front runner guys are phenomenal. They fitted us out with this rack. The installation of this rack took a little bit more time and effort than we anticipated, but I think obviously by the looks of it and the usefulness of it, that was time well spent. We have a Yakima ski box on it right now because we use this for backcountry skiing. So throw our gear up there and it's kind of stored away. On the back of the forerunner, we also put the Baja Design Sport backup lights. We have those hooked up on a switch, not that they're gonna run with the backup lights. We just put them on there, so if we need more light, it definitely helps us. Would we do it again? Yeah, I don't use those hardly at all, but when you need them, you need them. When we take the box off, we normally have a set of traction bars up there. We have plenty of places to put more cargo, more gear. It's just coming off of winter, so the ski box is still on. Just to finish up on the outside of the rig, we've had people ask why go with a mud terrain tire on a vehicle like this where primarily we're using it for on-road. Good question, they look really good. I guess that's probably number one, but number two, they do perform really well. I'm really surprised how well they do perform. I had a set of these tires on a one ton mega cab diesel truck that I had probably 50,000 miles on and I had them siped and they felt like they were on rails, phenomenal. Final thing I want to talk about and point out on our Forerunner, we do have a very subtle wrap. We put this wrap on as soon as we bought the vehicle. If you look at the graphics on here, they actually match the new trailer that we're releasing at the Overland West Show in Flagstaff in May of 2022. So we're really excited about that. We built this with the anticipation knowing it was going to be used for that show with this new product, but it really ties in. And the best part about it, it's a flat matte wrap. And different light takes on different colors. Ace Banner up in Logan, Utah did that for us. They do all of our wraps. They do everything for our anti-shanties.
Let's go in the inside of the vehicle and check out what we've done inside to make this thing a little more comfortable for us. On the inside of the Anti Shanty 4Runner, probably the most notable is we put all of our OEM light switches from Cali Raised right here. And they look really sharp when they're on. Also, we have the Red Art brake controller. And this is for our rear Baja Design backup lights. Works pretty well. I kind of wish we would have had a bigger switchboard, but it works out. Inside, we also put in the EVC throttle controller. A lot of our customers have asked, how does the 4Runner tow going over steep grades? We just came back from a trip down south in southern Utah, and we went over Soldier's Summit. We had the new Limited behind us, and it was loaded, and I'm guessing we were probably 30 200 pounds maybe anyway we had it set on the fourth control u4 is the setting it was on it goes up to nine we were able to go over at 65 miles an hour which i was pretty surprised we were in a higher gear plenty of power though i don't know if you want to go much faster than that on a windy canyon road the throttle controller has helped with the daily driving of this thing forerunners have always had a laggy throttle this is another company we met up with at an overland show in salt lake city super awesome guys it was a no-brainer when we knew we were buying this i think i had that controller before i had the forerunner because that was one of the first upgrades i wanted to put in it the other cool thing which is kind of stupid but it's just a key fob cover and AJT designs makes this anyway we're pretty happy with the forerunner on the inside we got a great backup camera sunroof all the lights all the all the bells and whistles that comes with the trd off-road some of you guys are seeing this big monitor here and might ask what that is we just introduced the new limited there's a new video out on that this is the monitor for the backup camera on the limited we used it all the way down and back on our last trip last weekend and it was awesome we had a bike rack on the back of the shanty and we were watching it while we were driving it works out great we're really happy with it if you buy a limited you're going to get this system set up with it but yeah overall the forerunner performs pulling a trailer pretty well now if you have an f-350 and you know you've got all this horsepower and torque yeah it's going to outpull anything but as far as most popular vehicles to pull one of our trailers the forerunner works really well it handles well the brake controller works fantastic and it just it's just one of those vehicles that i'm completely happy with uh forerunner for everyday use definitely thumbs up a uh, forerunner for pulling the anti shanty i would definitely give it a thumbs up as well it pulls extremely well gets decent fuel economy it's just a great overall vehicle let's check out the back Built Right makes a fantastic product as well. They make product for all types of vehicles. We went with them for our Molly panels. Completely happy. Mike at Built Right answered a lot of questions for me before I moved ahead and, and purchased. Great company, all US made as well. We've got just some basic things in here. We do a lot of Molly in our anti shanties. It definitely keeps this bay, this cargo area, a lot tidier. It works really well. We're really happy with it. Well, I think we've gone through most everything on our Forerunner that I can think of. We appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, go to andyshanty.com.